Yeah, I hope everyone's managing to stay safe. Uh, you know, I was thinking one of the nice things about FPV is that uh, in these times it is something that you can still actually do and enjoy. Because you can go outside and do it by yourself or with others. Just don't share your transmitter or goggles with anybody. My goodness, whatever you do. Um, and also you can spend a lot of time at home tinkering and building, uh, which is kind of the subject of this video here. This is a, uh, a little frame that I designed for uh, 3 inch props and the little HDLRC Zeus and Cadex Vista. I don't know if I haven't really decided on a name for it yet, maybe you'll see it in the title of this video. But I was looking for a frame like this and didn't really see one anywhere, something that was just a simple 3 inch dead cat design. So I just uh, designed the frame in uh, Fusion 360, just pretty simple as you can see. Just a 2.5mm bottom plate with 20x20 20 20 mounting, and then a 2mm top plate for the uh, holding the battery strap. And I had it uh, cut out at Flanoceros, first time trying uh, getting carbon cut anywhere, and first time using Flanoceros then. Uh, and they did a very nice job, good communication with them. The whole process took about uh, two and a half, three weeks from once the design was approved until I got it uh, shipped to me. And it was a little bit expensive, it was about $60 to get the initial frame. Uh, cut and shipped out, so I think it'd be cheaper if I were to make subsequent subsequent kit, kits, but uh, for the first one, it was about 60 bucks, so kind of expensive, but I guess you, you can pay as much for other premium frames then. And then I designed just a simple little 3D printed uh, camera mount uh, to hold specifically the Vista with a little small range of adjustment there, and also it's just designed to fit around these standoffs, which these are 23 millimeter standoffs, which I think is about the minimum size you can get away with to have clearance for the Zeus and the Vista with some room for cooling and also the Velcro strap in there. And I ordered a, this little hardware kit from uh, Race Day Quads. I'll have the link to all this stuff down below. So pretty simple. And then I'm using these uh, Amax Inno uh, 1303 4800 KV motors that you've seen on this channel plenty of times. And I just, these are the same motors. I just keep moving them around from kit to kit because uh, they work so well. The digital antenna is just zip tied to the standoff there. Nothing too fancy. And then the same with the uh, battery lead. Oh, and also you might be wondering about this little 3D printed part. I added this because there was a, uh, I didn't really account for the USB port on the Zeus and so it was kind of exposed. I didn't like it just sitting out there so I just put this, printed this little plate so that it would be protected from, from below from landing on, you know, rocks or anything. And also just whenever I picked up the quad, I would tend to touch the USB so just another place to grab it. Uh, the carbon itself weighs about 16 grams and then once you add all the standoffs and hardware, it's probably more like 25 or 30. 109.24 grams, so just under 110 grams, not too bad. I don't think it'd be really hard to hit 100 grams. You might, maybe you could do lighter motors, but I think for three inch props, that's probably, these are, these are, this is a good size motor. And the way this thing flew today, I was, I was totally happy with it um, at 108, 109 grams. And I was selling it on this uh, 653S, which weighs about 45 grams. So the all up weight with the battery, it's about 155 grams. So and not too bad for a three inch. 3S setup, and on these motors and props, it was flying uh, really nicely, really smooth, no complaints, and uh, when, as far as I could see, no jello. Um, so I think the camera mount is working as I would hoped it would. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this in the future. I might put the files up online. Uh, we'll see. But uh, anyway, let me just show you a, a quick flight I had this morning with this. I think it turned out pretty well. And uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe.